Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ray and today is going to be my last video on the pasta series. I'm going to close this series with another Asian-Italian fusion. So this recipe is going to be based on Japanese flavors but it's going to take the form of aglio olio. So here it is guys, my lemon mirin aglio olio with bacon wrapped prawn. Let's cook! So we're going to start with the bacon wrapped prawns. So all you have to do is just to cut up some bacon into strips like so and try to wrap the prawn with the bacon and skewer them all together like so. It's easier if you just cut the bacon a bit longer instead of doing it like me. I did a little mistake here, but hey, at least you know. But you get the idea, as long as you can wrap the bacon around the prawn and make sure all surfaces is covered by bacon, you should be good. Next we're gonna make the sauce which is really simple, you just need a quarter cup of lemon juice and also some mirin. Mirin is a type of Japanese cooking wine, slightly sweeter than sake. And for this you'll need half a cup of mirin. And followed with just one tablespoon of sugar. You don't need much, you just need to offset this acidity from the lemon a little bit. Next, just like making ugly olio, you'll need to chop up some garlic, no need to be fine, just cut it roughly. Now if you're using normal pasta for this recipe, you should start the pasta first but because I'm using angel hair today which only take about 2-3 to three minutes to cook, I'm gonna start with the prawn bacon first. All you need to do is just to sear the bacon wrapped prawn with some olive oil first. You can start with a cold pan and oil just so you can render the bacon fat properly. It will need about 2-3 to three minutes on each side over high heat. When the bacon looks like that, that means they're ready to be flipped. And once you've browned both sides evenly, you can take it off the heat and just let them rest on the plate until we need them. Now for the pasta, we just have to do the usual drill. Boiling water, some olive oil, and also a generous pinch of salt. Then in goes the pasta. This will need about 2-3 to three minutes, so while the pasta is cooking, you can start the sauce. The sauce itself is pretty simple, you just have to saute the garlic in the residual bacon fat. And once the garlic is slightly brown, you can add in the lemon mirin mixture and just reduce them down a little bit. This is just to make sure the alcohol is burned off and the sauce get the chance to emulsify. And after cooking the sauce for about a minute, you can add in the pasta. Give it a good toss. Make sure everything is coated evenly. Then after that, you can start adding in the prawn. You can leave a little bit of the prawn on the side, just so you can use it as topping. I think it looks better without mixing it in the sauce. And after that, this is pretty much ready to serve. Just grab a plate and plate the pasta any way you fancy. For me, I just like it plain and simple. Just the normal bird's nest look with the prawns added on top. And finally, top it with some freshly chopped chives. And if you can find Tobiko or Togarashi, that would be great addition to this dish. But I simply couldn't find them on the day I'm making this video. So there we have it guys, my lemon mirin pasta with bacon wrapped prawns. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And if you did, please leave this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get the latest updates my videos. And here are links to my previous videos, so don't forget to check that out as well. And links and measurements gonna be in the description box below. If you have any requests that you wanna see me cook on this channel, please leave a comment below and I'll get right to it. And yeah, that will be all for today. See you next time, guys. Bye!